or take it here. Hey now. Shout out to everybody that popped out to the stream yesterday. Had a great time. We played Spark and Zero. I got whooped a lot. But I also won a lot. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to everybody. I love y'all. Shout out to my dedicated group of haters, too. Dim Sum. Your mom. Who else? Andrew. Damn, am I forgetting somebody? I'm forgetting somebody. One of them said, if I win two games in a row, Jesus gonna come back. I won two games in a row, though. I'm getting better. This gameplay is pre-recorded. I cannot talk and play this game at the same time because I will die from a stroke, heart attack, and aneurysm at the same time. Now, to get to what you came here for. I thought I kept it pretty tame last video. I didn't shit on the game. I didn't call it ass. I didn't call it garbage. All I did was ask a question. Multiverses got better, but is it too late? I didn't think that title was bad. I feel like my other titles, when I'm talking about this game, are like, criticizing it was worse this game needs some major changes changed my name because i am giving up saying you know talking about the ranked mode the truth about multiverses and this thumbnail was particularly bad like <laughs> it got dying across that with the big ass down downtrend arrow i call like i called this game try not to complain simulator the hundred thousand maybe it's me maybe it's me titles this is the one title where i've raised the question and it's not just like this is not just a game thing this is like a life thing multiverses got better but is it too late i asked a question and for some reason people took that as me saying the game is dying and i i, I, nigga, I asked you a question why are you assuming my answer to the question i don't mind people having a difference in opinion that's actually good for the game and any product which is like consumer related right there are consumers and providers and the providers rely on the consumer's input on their product in order to make improvements and make it better. If nobody is questioning the bullshit that is taking place, they, the providers, don't know how to make their product better. That is why constructive criticism is a good thing. I didn't call this game trash. I actually, I didn't even really criticize it in this video. Really, all I said was, they made the game better, but is it too late? I know I'm yapping. Let me get my yap off. I said that they made 100%. One, double, zero. 100% a better product than it was at launch, and even the day before season three dropped. And I think, you know, general consensus, that is objectively a true statement the hitboxes mm, still they still butt but they better still some balance issues i disagree with some stuff but it's cool it's whatever because i whoop shit but that's just me though i'm i'm a casual player but like you know i'm a gamer like i've been playing games since i could hold a controller so naturally i'm going to be better at games but like for the people that's just like you know they just play leisurely or they're not that competitive, they gonna get they ass whooped with the balance issues. They're going to get whooped. I don't even know how I started talking about that. But anyway, and like we talked about on stream yesterday, I feel like most of the complaints come from the people who play 1v1 because that's where the balance issues are undeniably the most notable. That's where you experience them the most. People to stop trying to hide behind this notion that well, it's not a notion. The game is made for 2v2. The game was made for 2v2, but you also have this 1v1 game mode. So even though in 2v2, it might make more sense for certain characters to be stronger. Uh, 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 uh. Cool, that's like, that makes perfect sense, right? You got mages, you got different classes. In 2v2, that's fine. But you also have this 1v1 game mode. Obviously, I, you, can't, you can't know for sure. But I assume that most of the you know complaint about balance issues and, and all of that is from the 1v1 game mode but since they made it for 2v2 it's like you know this shit really don't matter over here if you're gonna make the game for 2v2 and build the characters around 2v2 naturally when you play 1v1 there are going to be balance issues example i play bugs bunny every character on this game can take the safe out in one hit half of the cast can take the nuke out in one hit so playing 1v1 with bugs I am at a supreme disadvantage against at least half of the cast. Because as a ranged character, they can take out my safe, they can take out my nuke, they can take out my pie. Those are the strong suits of a mage or ranged character. Now, I'm not saying Bugs Bunny is ass or low tier, how, whatever y'all want to call it. I'm not getting into that shit because I don't care. As you can imagine, when you take the strongest part of a character identity away they are now a shell of themselves. So as Bugs against half the cast, I have to rely on his secondary option. Example, say I'm playing a Finn. Finn can shoulder check my nuke, safe, and pie. With one move, no risk. So now 
my range doesn't work. In order to hit him with some different stuff, I have to be ultra technical, do some trickster shit, and, you know, try to get some shit off. But even though against a good Finn, it's not going to happen. And now, now that he takes away my range, which is my strong suit, my advantage over the other characters because of the class that my character is in, right? It comes down to hand-to-hand -hand combat in which Finn is superior. I whoop shit. So it, like, you know, I'm gonna complain about it, but it's cool because I can, I can still win. You know, I, I, I still have a chance to win. To another character, that's an extreme turn off. You, I don't, like, you shouldn't be able to take a class's, you know, advantage away. That's just one instance, but I use that one because Bugs is the character that I use. Now, to, to talk about the comments. In my experience, when I make videos criticizing the game, the people in the comments that defend it and, like, are mad that you're questioning if the game is dying or mad that you're criticizing it they it seemed like they're more worried about the perception of the game than the product itself and how it's performing they'd just be like the more people say the game is dying the more it's going to die and it's like uh actually that's not how it works by people saying the game is dying it doesn't make people not play the game people playing the game makes them not want to play the game you can call the game trash that doesn't make it trash you know what I mean? Perfect example. If that was the case, the amount of people for years calling 2K trash, the game would have been dead. If that was the case, no, nigga. People just don't play the game because they don't like it. That's the only reason for people to not play your game is because they don't like it. For the people that have played it and tried it. For the people that haven't tried it, they see all the stuff, they, their opinion might be swayed. That's understandable. I get it. You see what I'm saying? Obviously, people are always going to have something to complain about. Like, you know? It's a person by person ba basis. Each person has their own opinion. Somebody like, you know, some people can deal with certain things better than other people can. In certain areas, somebody might be proficient here and not here. And you know, they're going to complain about the difference. Calling the game trash or questioning if it's dying does not make people not play the game. The only way people stop playing the game is if they're no longer interested in playing it. Somebody once said that I want the game to die when I made one of these videos criticizing it. No, actually, I no, I don't. Like that's just it couldn't be further from a conceivable thought. It, like it's just like if you look at my channel, it's literally not true. Multiverse is the most popular game on my channel. I have hundreds of videos playing multiverses. I played from the start of the beta until now, nigga. I do not want the game to die. If I wanted to die, I wouldn't be making videos on it still. Okay, so that just, that doesn't make sense. I need you to get out of your feelings and come back to reality. Now I wanna talk about um, a specific thread in the comment section uh, because I think it's quite important. Not, you know, not just because the game, but also just some life shit. Okay, so let Uncle Tega get in his bag real quick. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be calling me Unc and stuff in the comments. Let Unc do his thing. It's the cookout. I'm on the grill. I got a little, I got a little, you know, no, you know, yeah. I got a little, you know, I'm saying in my system. Let Unc start his shit. One brother says, again, I am not attacking anybody in the comment section. I am not attacking anybody in the comment section. I am not attacking anybody in the comment section. I had to say it three times, so so you knew it was real. The first one might have went through and came out. The second one might have went through and got jammed up. The third one went through and I was gonna stay. You see what I'm saying? All right, so I need you to understand. I am not attacking any of you. I do not want to bully you. We are just having discourse. We are discussing the game. And also, I'm just explaining where I'm coming from. So the comment says, the start of it says, Multiverses community try not to hate on their own game for no reason challenge. I don't have a problem with you saying this. It's fine. If that's the way you feel and that's the way you see it, that's fine. You're allowed to have your own opinion. And your opinion is valid. But in this case, not valid. I did not say anything negative. Again, like I said, I didn't say anything negative about this game in the video. The only thing I could see you saying was negative was me saying I, I briefly talked about the beta for like 0 0.89 seconds. I said something along the lines of right now, the game has its player base and if they can keep it, they can keep it. But if they don't, it's going to be like the beta all over again and then i said um i say beta in quotation marks let's keep it real that wasn't a beta my guy i responded i said i didn't say anything negative about it with the facepalm emoji he responded the title the title 
the title sounded like it was implying the game was dying or something like that to be honest now this is why i said his opinion in this case is not valid I'll give you an example this nigga's in the library he's in the library he goes to the religion section he goes to the bibles he grabs the pink bible and he says ew this shit's pink he then goes to the front desk and he tells the librarian, why are you trying to make the Bible girly? And just like, extrapolate this to any book, I'm just using I'm just using this book because it was close by. The librarian says, it's not a girl version, they just made it pink. He then says to the librarian, oh, it sounded like you were implying that this was a girl version of the Bible because it's pink. Now nigga, do not ask me why I have a pink Bible. I go out of my way to be different. I don't wanna have a brown Bible like the rest of you niggas. And don't worry, I got the Apocrypha too. Also, I'm not religious. I'm also not a Christian. I just like to learn and understand people. Now I can understand. Now that might not have been the best example, but you understand what I'm like, what I'm getting at. You saw the title. There's a video attached to this title, but you didn't watch the video. You grew your opinion out of the fucking abyss and then you chose to share it without, you know, watching the content or watching what the title was about i didn't say anything negative in the title i asked the question right because he didn't watch the video he just said the title made it sound like i was implying that the game was dying i can see that but nigga that's not what it is i can see how you came up with that but that is a manufactured idea you literally had to want to see it that way i asked the the game got better but is it too late and if you click the video and listened you would have known. Like, I don't have a problem with you. Like, nigga, if you had this opinion and you didn't comment, perfectly fine. But you had this opinion, you commented, and didn't watch the video. And I'm not saying that you have to watch my videos. Nigga, you don't have to watch anything. Trust me. It, like, it's cool. Between me and you, it's cool. But if you, go, like, and th again, this is a life thing. If you're going to share your opinion, at least know thoroughly what you're what you're talking about when you share it like that's like giving your opinion on the bible or the quran and not knowing what the fuck is in the bible or the quran at least know what you're talking about before you give your opinion on it otherwise you're just uninformed and it makes you it, it makes you look a certain way to people it's person a and person b if you meet person b and person b tells you something about person a that implies that person a is a bad person you're then not going to fuck with person A because you think they're a bad person. Instead of actually experiencing person A for yourself and coming to your own informed conclusion. That is just a, a, a bad way. And again, just my opinion. What do I know? I'm just an ignorant kid making videos. That's just not a good way to go about life in general. Now with video games, that is trivial. It, it doesn't really matter. But if you, if you go about life the same way you went about this comment, anybody out there just please don't do that now shout out mob he was in the stream yesterday he says he raised the question not an insult exactly all i did was ask a question i didn't insult the game in the video i didn't insult the game and if you watched you would have known that another comment says well hold on we gotta stop acting like this game is doing amazing if people keep pretending nothing's wrong with the game it's gonna die and like i said it's like people defend the game in the comments are more concerned with the perception of it rather than the product and its performance in my comment section in my experience there has never been a time in which they've defended the game and explained it they've only just said stop saying the game is dying or Stop uh, uh, dying, the game is not dying, the game will never die. They always just say that stuff instead of like explaining why they feel that way. So I've never gotten an actual answer from somebody that's defending the game. Again, criticism is not a bad thing. It's what propels things forward. It's how things get better. Anytime somebody criticizes me under my video, I take it into consideration. At the end of the day, if you want to get better, you like criticism. Everybody should like constructive criticism. Now, some criticism may be unjust and it may be coming from a place of 
anger or ah uh, ah uh, uh, but you know that's just up to you to discern and figure it out another commenter says it's so bad he plays almost every day he man sam he main samurai jack and taz and he's talking about some uh he's talking about balancing right here he main samurai jack and taz and the difficulty getting wins between the two is night and day with jack it's hard af to win one series winning two is damn near impossible against 65 percent of the characters with taz he feels bad for most of his wins he get with him because it's so easy even against annoying characters like Harley and Batman. Now, I'm not going to get into that because I've, I've never played Samurai Jack and I've never played with Taz and neither do I want to. Then another commenter comes in and this is where like this is what really made me want to talk about it because I genuinely do not understand this one. Like the first one, I understand. I understand him saying like, you know, the title implied that I was saying the game is dying. I get that. But if you watch the video you would know that that's not what it was. So then it then negates the title. But nigga, if we use context clues, the game's been out for five, this is the fifth month now. In what, 10 days, 12 days, it'll be five months on the dot. Realistically, in the first month or two, the people who have played your game and tried it already know if they are interested in keep continuing to play it or not. Which is why I'm saying it took them until season two, three, to make the game better. That might be too late, buddy. Sorry, your game's been out for two months. It might be too late to start improving this bitch to get people to stay on, you know what I mean? So now this comment says the title is negative. Multiverses got better. See, it's already like, that shit is already negated because that just doesn't make sense. How is the title negative if I'm praising the game in the title? Multiverses got better, but is it too late? That in in no way shape or form is that negative bro like that just doesn't it doesn't make sense to me maybe i'm wrong please inform me but i don't see how that makes sense he says it's the same title it's dying it's dying bullshit that he keeps seeing pop up on his feed and that i purposely did it for clicks now let me explain what content creation is my nigga the people that make content on any platform the objective is to get people to watch how you get people to watch by creating a title and a thumbnail that piques people's interest. The only reason he clicked on this video is because of the title. Now, the thumbnail wasn't even, it wasn't even all that. It was literally just my face, a Multiverses logo, um, Agent Smith doing some funny junk after he got hit, and then the words too late question mark above agent smith's head yes nigga i purposely made the title for clicks the the goal especially on youtube other platforms you just scroll and the content is there so you don't really need a thumbnail unless you're going on somebody's page with youtube there are hundreds of videos on the recommended tab the home tab whatever as you're scrolling down these bitches it's my job as a creator my goal all of our goals is to get people to click mine instead of the other niggas. So I have to do something that gets your interest for you to click my video over theirs. Hence the title. I propose a question. Naturally, people want to answer them. They want to see why I'm asking the question. But y'all don't care why I'm asking the question. Y'all don't care about the question. Or y'all don't care about the criticism. Y'all care about how people view the game like nigga you need to like wait wake up my nigga like look at like bro like what are you saying i didn't like i never said the game was dying i never said that not in this video <laughs> i've said it before not in this video though like that's the goal of a youtuber to get people to click your video and watch it and perhaps subscribe if they like leave a like on the video that is the goal and again life shit if you're tired of something Nigga, stop interacting with it. Again, I'm not attacking y'all at all. If you're tired of seeing people say it's dying, it's dying, ignore it. If you see it, ignore it. Don't click the video, nigga. You're just going to make yourself even more angry. Like, damn, like you you ask a question about multiverses and niggas get angrily aroused. Then they just start talking out their ass. It's like, bro, I like I'm not even saying the things that you're saying I'm saying. You're saying it's the same old it's dying, it's dying bullshit you keep seeing pop up, but I never said any of that. I didn't say it was ass, I didn't say it was trash, I didn't say it was garbage, I didn't say it was boo-boo, I didn't say it was shit. I literally said it was better. And somehow that is a negative thing. Apparently, when you call this game's identity into question, or when you call the product into question, it is automatically seen as negative to some of these people. Which, again, I do not understand. Well, the beta, it started like 150-some thousand players. And within two months, it went down to like 
2,000 or like 4,000. Same thing with the official launch. Everybody came back, mostly. It was like 130,000 some at launch. Right now, the average player count from 130,000 at launch, nigga, it's at 1800 right now. I'm not making this shit up, nigga. I'm not saying it's dying, but it's for sure not even like, it's not growing, you know? It's not gaining more life. I responded to this comment by saying, brother, how does calling the game better make it negative? I asked a question, which is a very valid question. Multiverses got better, but is it too late? Asking if the devs waited too late to make... Damn. This comment giving me a stroke, nigga. How did I do that? Gotta edit that. My ADHD kicking in. Asking if the devs waited too late to improve their product has 0% negativity attached to it. I don't know when y'all got this notion that asking questions is a negative thing, but I need y'all to drop it. Again, some life shit. If you cannot ask questions, you cannot have you cannot have good conversation. Like, bro, you have to be able to ask questions. If you can't question things, nigga, what are we doing here? I don't want to talk to any fucking body I can't ask a question. If I can't ask you a question, you might as well get out of my face, nigga, because I'm a curious guy. I'm no monkey, but I'm curious George. I ask a lot of questions. And then I said, I never said the word dead in the video either. Literally, verbatim. I said it's 100% a better product than it was at launch. And then I said, you're more worried about the perception of the game than the actual product and performance of it. Like, I just want to understand why nobody answers this shit. Like, you can criticize it and say, ah, ah, ah. If you say the game is dying, a nigga will literally just say, no, it's not. Don't, don't provide no explanation for why it's not dying, ah, ah, ah. Even when the numbers back it and say it's dying. Nigga, I don't want the game to die. I, I'm literally, like, I play the game. Recently, I haven't been playing it that much because it's just like, you know, the lifeline running out for me, my nigga. I just like, I mean, you know, somebody said it's never too late. Somebody said they're hyped for the update, actually. Somebody says it's been too late. Rank is nothing but most sweats in the world, but the most sweats in the world that will use Batman and Shaggy, especially when you hit platinum. I play TGE when he feel, he plays TGE when he feel like it, probably for the events in Battle Pass. He says, way to go, player first games, you broke me mentally. Somebody says, it's been too late, unfortunately. Right, so it's like, you know, people disagree and agree in the comments, which is fine. I appreciate everybody that comment, even if you disagree with me. Like, you know, you saying the title is negative or like uh, you saying I'm shit on a game or whatever and saying I did something like whether it's a, a, a positive comment or a negative comment, I appreciate every comment. You, like if you go through all my videos, you gonna see me liking every comment. I'm in them comments. I see you. I see all of y'all. I see you. I appreciate every person that comment. And about the sweats thing, like, bro, I hadn't played this game. I played this game three times in two weeks. I got on the fourth time. In my first game, I played number 16 on the planet. Brother, how? I'm platinum, like, two. And I understand, like, you know, my... They got, uh, what they call this shit, uh, skill-based matchmaking or whatever. You know, I play this game a lot. I've, I've played this game a lot. And I'm good at the game, I would say, in my humble opinion, better than most. I should never be in Platinum. I don't, I don't care what my skill base is. I should never be in Platinum playing number 16 on the planet, nigga. We skipped Platinum 1, Diamond 5, Diamond 4, Diamond 3, Diamond 2, Diamond 1, Masters 5, Masters 4, Three, two, and one. And then we skipped, what, the first 74 niggas of the top 100 players. Do you see how that's a problem? Again, it could just be because of my, my skill base is, is higher. But if we're playing a ranked mode, if I beat that nigga, I know for a fact I wasn't going to move up to diamond. I wasn't going to move up past platinum two or platinum one or diamond five or, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to go up that much. So why am I playing, like, you know, number 16 on a planet, I'm platinum two. This nigga's a whole three rank categories away. You're not even supposed to be able to do that. I thought they took that out the game. Moral of the story is, bro, we got to be able to ask questions about this game, about real life, because it's some, like, it's some real life shit going on that if you ask questions about it, people will legitimately tweak out, and you will get canceled, my nigga. You can't ask questions nowadays, and that's a big problem. If somebody asks a question, nigga, don't get defensive. Just answer the fucking question. Or don't. Like, I'm asking niggas questions and they not answering. They just saying I'm negative. At least bro that said it's never too late. At least he answered that bitch. I mean, he didn't give, he ain't put no substance behind it. But 
He answered it. They're like, they don't even talk about what you say. They just talk about the title or the thumbnail. The title sounded like it was implying the game was dying or something like that. The title is negative. Nigga, watch the video. If you're gonna comment, at least watch the video. Like, you can feel that way, you know? But like, nigga, if you're gonna comment about the video, about the title, at least watch the video. Like, you're not even watching to see what I said. Regardless of how y'all feel, criticism gives developers something to build off of. It gives them a basis for how their consumers feel about their product, and it helps them make better product. If this game launched, at launch, this game was bad. If nobody called it bad, they probably would have been like, until they seen them fucking numbers dropping. Then they would have been like, wait, 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 what's wrong? But now they see the numbers dropping and they're like, wait, 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 what's, what's wrong? And then you got your consumers telling you, yo, your game's shit. This is what's wrong with it. Take this into consideration. Do better. Season three come around, better product. But might be too late. You had a year-long beta, almost nine months, nigga. You had a year-long hiatus before you released. Then you released some dog shit. And then it took you three months to make it better. They just failed to capitalize, in my opinion. You're free to feel differently. I don't mind. Let's talk about it. Anyway, my name is Ortega. Ask questions. If you're asked a question, answer it or don't. You're free to choose. At the end of the day, it's all love. It's all love. I appreciate y'all for commenting. I really do. I appreciate y'all for commenting. But y'all niggas don't debate. Y'all just say, you know what I mean? Like, if y'all watched the video and then came back and said something, it would be different. But y'all didn't watch the video. Y'all just saw the title and then commented about the title when there's a whole seven minute and some second video attached to it. Now we, we can't talk about shit because y'all opinion, like y'all don't have an informed opinion about the title. You know, the title comes with the video, nigga. Didn't even answer the question. Just like, just said, the, just said it was negative. Even though in the, the title I said the game was better. How is that negative?